Today, I would like to share with you an easy way to read notes on the ledger lines. Ledger lines are short lines that we can add to the staff below or above to extend our range as much as necessary. Now you can read ledger lines the same way that you read the staff, which it means that it works the same way alphabetically. So for example, the bottom line of the staff here would be E. So in the same way that you would go forward in the alphabet as you move up, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, you can also go backwards to the alphabet reading the ledger line. So if this is E, the note on this space would be D, the first ledger line would be a C, this space a B, and finally at the bottom here, this would be A. Works the same way on top. Our top line is F, F, G, this first ledger line is an A, second space here is a B, up on top, two ledger lines above the treble staff is always C. There's an even easier way that you can figure this out that I think is a much quicker, faster, easier way to read. And that is if you use the alphabet and skip either forwards or backwards through the alphabet. It's even easier to read the staff using the keyboard. We know that the bottom line of the treble staff is an E. So one skip or ledger line below E would be the first ledger line C. And two skips below E or two ledger lines below would be A. If we know that the bottom line on the treble clef is an E, every ledger line we go down, we're going to go skip backwards through the alphabet. So if this is E, one ledger line down, any note on this line would be C. If we skip a ledger line down again, we're going to go again backwards through the alphabet. alphabet. We're going backwards through the alphabet. So this note would be The top a. of the treble staff is an F, so a skip above that, or one ledger line above the staff, would be A, and two skips, or two ledger lines, above the treble staff would be C. Works the same way on top. If we know that the top line of the treble staff is an F, then one ledger line up, we're going to skip forward in the alphabet. A skip above F would be A, so any note on this line would be A. A second line would give us two skips from F, F, A, making this note, of course, C. Now that we understand the process, let's try reading actual notes from a score in the bass clef. So we're going to start down here on bass clef, also known as F clef. We know that the bottom line of the bass clef is called G. So we're going to start at G and we're going to skip backwards to the alphabet. So the line, the first ledger line down from G, is of course E. So one note below E, one step down, would be D. If we come over to this note, another space note, we're going to start at G, skip backwards to E, down another line, another ledger line skipping down to C, one note before C, this of course is B. We've got another B here, it's tied. We come over, we've got the line G, skipping down one, that would be E, skip another ledger line, again we have C. Now once you know a couple of these ledger lines, you'll start to recognize them easier. And then instead of going through the whole process of skipping, you of course can step up and down as you're reading the ledger notes. So if we know again, we've got G, skip down to E, we know that this one is a D. So if we know that this is D, we can see that this next note is just a skip below that. So a quicker process would be go from this note to this note, a skip is B. Got our tied notes again. Now, instead of skipping, we're actually stepping up. So from B, we're stepping up to C. From C, we're stepping up to D. So all it takes is a little bit of practice, and in no time you'll be reading ledger lines with ease. Thanks for watching.